We saved the most important cultural story of the day for last. The beloved cartoon Scooby-Doo is revamping. And a clip from the new Halloween movie is going viral online. One of the main characters, Velma, you like me might remember her from the 80s, is fawning over a female costume designer, leading viewers to ascertain she is now finally out as gay. Take a look. And as promised, here are your Scooby Snacks. Yep, turns out that one of the characters in Scooby Doo happens to be gay. That's Velma. And it's apparently the most important cultural story of the day over at Fox. I'm sure she was being sarcastic when she was saying that. But as we know, conservatives tend to lose their minds over representation of various groups of people, identities in pop culture. And this is definitely another example of that. Wait till you get a load of Laura Ingram. But before we do, some more details on this. Clips from the brand new movie Trick or Treat Scoopy Doo, which show the Mystery Inc. member googly eyed and speechless when encountering costume designer Coco Diablo, which is a great name, have gone viral on Twitter, confirming suspicions held by the Scooby fan base for decades. And so here's a quick screenshot to show you Coco Diablo and Velma losing her mind over how hot she is. <laughs> okay. That is a accurate representation of losing your mind over it. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, honestly, I, uh, I don't care. Right, I personally don't care because I'm a normal person. Uh, yeah. But uh, people like Laura Ingram, not normal people. So here she is. This is kind of really offensive on the level that we're disrupting these beloved there's no, characters. There's no, there's no innocence. You can't have a moment Look, of just fun I, I, without an agenda. I'm waiting for them to tell us that Scooby and Shaggy shared more than a Scooby snack shaggy. in that you know mystery mobile. They shaggied up or shacked up. Well, whatever it was. But what other beloved characters are they going to sexualize next? Wasn't it right wingers who wanted to make sure that the green M&M wore sexy go-go boots and didn't trade them in for sneakers? Yeah, that's actually quite literal, you're right. Yeah. So uh, having a character be gay or is not sexualizing them. <laughs> it's amazing, I know. Like that's just who they are. Like it's like saying, oh, now they made one of the characters black. Obviously, sexualizing them. Wait, what? Why? Why does that sexualize them? And so they say it's a loss of innocence. So you would lose your innocence if you find out that there are people who like different folks, same gender, for example, right? Why would that be a loss of innocence? Only if you think, as the guy said in the beginning, that it's offensive. So they're outing themselves. They're saying, we think being LGBTQ is just wrong, it's immoral, it's bad. And if you find out about it, well, that, that such people exist, it will make your kids immoral. Scooby does woke. Jesus okay. Christ. All right, so look guys, the <gasps> right wingers hate gay people. It's, they just told you they hate gay people. They said the very idea that they might exist in the world is offensive. Right, and they bothered to do a segment about it. No, I but know. Yeah. but there is but there is one part of what they're saying, Anna, that is true, which is that it does affect the culture. Culture does move, mm -hmm. okay, and that's that's why they really have a problem. Yeah, with it. yeah, and so now that's not something you hear from the left a lot, right? So, so I, like, no, I disagree. I mean, the, the culture moves in that it normalizes the reality that there are different sexualities. Yeah. And and that's okay. That's a good thing. Gayness always existed. Okay? It's just that it was persecuted for a very long time in this country. And I think it's better to live in a country that doesn't persecute people for who they are. Yeah. So I mean, I've seen a lot of people on the left say, "Oh no, you can't judge people's cultures and the culture wars are just a figment of our imagination." No, no, the culture wars are real. Now they're often times a distraction as Anna often points out from the real economic issues that they want to distract you from, but they are real, mm -hmm. right? And so the culture does move. And in fact, in this case, the creators wanted her to be a lesbian way earlier. But and here's the great twist and irony here. You know, they say, oh, Hollywood is so liberal, so liberal, right? 
No, actually the writers made her a character lesbian a long time ago. Remember, it's a cartoon, she's not a real person, right? Mm. And so, but the, the company, the movie company would not allow it. They kept taking it out of the script, out of the script. They were making an active decision in the culture wars and they were conservative. They were saying, no, we do not want any gay characters here. So Hollywood was not being liberal up until now, this very moment in 2022, it was being over the top conservative. As the creators were saying, she's a, she's a gay woman, so what difference does it make? Can we just also acknowledge, really, you're concerned about pop culture sexualizing characters? I mean, Everything is hypersexualized in pop culture. Like everywhere you go, everything you see, yes, even children's toys, children's content. I mean, are like Barbie with the tiny waist and massive boobies? Like really we're having that conversation right now? I just I just don't get. No, I do get it. It's they don't want to live in a society that is tolerant and accepting of individuals who are part of the LGBTQ community, who, who live lives that are different from theirs. That, that's what it's really about. Sexualizing characters is as American as apple pie, which by the way, American pie, like a movie about a dude like having sex with a pie. Like that is all over the place, everywhere. But it's the identity of the character here that they're offended by. Yeah, it, and it, it's saying someone is, Gay doesn't sexualize them, it just identifies them. Yeah. And so what conservatives want, and they're telling you what they want, is for gay people to be written out of all stories, like they don't exist. But they do exist. Yep. So when you say that, what you're saying is, I want to make sure that we wipe away your identity so no one is like you. No one is influenced to think that it's acceptable to be like you. All the, Why? Yeah. Because we hate you. That's what it's so it's they're saying it with a bullhorn. We hate gay people. And then when you tell them that they're like, oh no, 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 no. I mean, we don't want to we think they their very existence sexualizes things, and we want to make sure that the kids are never allowed to get it out of Hollywood, get it out of the movies, wipe them clean. We don't want to see anything, they're offensive. But no, 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 we don't hate them. And then we have to have a gaslighting debate about whether they hate them. Yeah, they and definitely hate them. And the projection is fascinating, right? Because while people like Laura Ingram are fearful about white identity being replaced or erased in America, they're super gung ho about erasing other identities in America. That's an excellent point. And, and they don't mind erasing identities at all, as long as it's not their own. 100%. All right, let's lighten things up. Let's lighten things up. By the way, one one final thing I got to say. We can cut this out of the video. It doesn't matter. Um, I can you imagine being so privileged and so comfortable? Like your life is so comfortable that like the thing that you're losing your mind about is Scooby Doo. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.